So we're here in a fairly isolated area. There's a sandbar protecting this little cove. Um, just wanted to see if it was possible that maybe oil was pooling in here. Um, it's not washing up, although it's everywhere along in the globs. It's not as thick as I thought. However, in the water column, you know, foolishly wearing flip flops here, but I think it's important to show that I just saw a skate actually something shoot out of this. It's like flocculated oil, dispersed oil on the bottom. It's, it's fluffy and you can kind of see it here in the part that's very shallow. But I can see it in the water. It's very thick clones that are extending inside. Um, and there's an oil sheen all along the top. Uh, so, you know, this, this just highlights that this stuff is not floating. It is sinking as well. And who knows how far how widespread this really goes and what it's doing to benthic communities all along the, the floor of the sea. Here you can see, I don't know if this will show up in the camera, but there's just these, these flocculated mats of oil that are about less than an inch thick. Um, but just forming in these, where the water is not getting a lot of wave action, it's able to just settle here. There's just a thick globs of it. Let me try to get. Uh, it's, yeah, so this just gets worse and worse. The further I get to this back bay area, uh, this is really disturbing. Um, but yeah, so this stuff is just thick, gross mats of oil. There's no way anything could live on or under this. So, what this is probably a fairly productive little back bay area normally is just getting hammered right now. It's all in the shoreline, intermixed with debris and sticks and mud. Everything that looks dark is oil. You know, all the way up to the high water mark. It's just really gross. And, uh, so, some of it is lighter than others. You can see all the marbling of it all. It's just so even though this might have received some dispersant, it's still very viscous, very thick, and it appears like it would be very difficult to clean up. I haven't seen anybody on this island, which is only accessible by boat. Turns and pelicans over there on the other side of the mud flat. There's just sheets. 
Pine. This is one of the very few uh, sandy beach areas in all of Louisiana. This is a very important recreational area. A lot of the economy around here during the summer relies on on tourist dollars flowing in here. And while we're not being restricted on this island, because it's only accessible by boat, all of the, the beach along Grand Isle has been closed off to the general public. It's very odd how these these globs are dispersed. We're not getting any wave action in here, so these must have floated in sometime yesterday since we received reports that from boats that it was pretty thick here. And just come up in the high tide and now that it's baking in the sun, it's just kind of oozing to the low low points in the area. We're getting towards the very end of this back bay area. Um, but we're still seeing the oil. And I just want to get all the way to the back, which looks like it's been excavated a bit for restoration. Um, this will presumably hamper restoration efforts and really impact this ecologically sensitive area for years to come waiting to see somebody who's coming through here to at least survey or and hopefully remove this stuff as it comes up but I haven't seen anybody besides a, uh, a construction op worker that's working on the restoration effort Okay, that's, that's about the end of it, but you know, the, the globs extend all the way to the back of this little inlet. The mud's very thick here, so I'm gonna turn off and head back towards the boat.